Hello everyone and welcome to this video how to install GNOME license. To install a GNOME permanent license, we need first to obtain permanent GNOME license keys from the Microfocus license portal. Then place the license key files to the local drive and launch the AutoPass license server console from any supported web browser. In URL, we use a control plane host name from CDF uh, Kubernetes cluster. If the port was not changed during GNOME installation, the default one is 9443. To install the license, we log in to the AutoPass license server as the user GNOME admin, then click Install on the license drop down menu, click Add Files, browse to the location of the files, and click Next. Select the listed licenses and click Install Licenses. When the installation is complete, Click View to see the installed licenses. To install a Vertica DB license, we need to log in to a Vertica DB server as DB administrator. We can use a couple of SQL queries to check the current license installed. Uh, then copy the license key file to the Vertica server, open the admin tool, uh, go to advanced menu, then upgrade license key, select the DB name from the list and click OK. Uh, provide the full path to the license file, click OK. Uh, verify the new license details in the opened pop-up window. Let's install GNOME license. We log in to the AutoPass license server. Go to Configuration, click View. We can see GNOME Instant on license was created during initial GNOME installation and it has been already expired. Uh, go to again license and click install, click add files, select GNOME license, select also GNOME BVD license, click open. Then next, uh, select all licenses and click install licenses. Now we can see that all new licenses have been installed. Let's install the Vertica DB license. I logged into the Vertica DB server and execute VSQL. And let's check the current installed license. We can see Vertica Community Edition. Uh, let's check also compliance. Uh, license size one terabyte. Okay, we exit. And to install new license, we need to open admin tool. Go to advanced menu, then upgrade license key. Select the database. Now we need to type the full path to the license file. Select Accept. Password. The license has been installed. We can see information about all the old license and also the new license. Uh, exit. And let's check also the installed license from VSQL. So we can see the license is different now. And also check the compliance. And the license size 20 terabyte. It was one terabyte. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.